Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you what the VLOOKUP function is and show you a practical application for it. So VLOOKUP, what is it? Well, first let's get the definition from Excel. VLOOKUP looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row of a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in ascending order. That part's important, we'll come back to that. So what does that mean? I have here my table of UFO sightings and I have a state column. I would like to know what country that state is in. And luckily over here, I have this table of states and the corresponding countries. What I can do is I can use VLOOKUP to find this state in this table and get the country from it. So let's see how we do that. So I'm gonna make a new column called country. And then I'm going to use my VLOOKUP formula. So then I'm going to go equals VLOOKUP, open parentheses. So first thing we're looking for is the lookup value. What is the value we're looking for? And the value we're looking for is Texas. So we want to look for the value in H2. H2, comma, table array. So where are we going to look for this value? Well, we're going to look for this value in state country this range of cells. So I'm just going to select this range of cells. There we go. So state country A1 through B68. It is important to make these values absolute by putting in dollar signs. VLOOKUP is very finicky. People run into a lot of issues with it. I'll link to a longer video in the description to troubleshoot some of those problems. But for now, know that those dollar signs in front of the numbers are important. So then we put a comma. The next value we're looking for is the column index or number. So this is the column we want to return from A1 through B168. What column do we want to return? And we want the number of that column. So we want the second column, A1 through B68. We want column B. We want column two. Then we're going to put a comma. Exact match, approximate match, true, false. For the sake of safety, I put false here. Again, VLOOKUP is very finicky. You can run into a lot of problems with it. Longer video with some of those problems in the in the corner, but this makes sure you get the actual value you want. Putting this false here. Then I'm going to close parentheses. Hit enter. There we go. State, Texas, country, U.S. I know that's correct. I'm going to double click this. Fill in the rest of it. Texas, U.S., Hawaii, U.S., Tennessee, U.S. Let's see if we can find something from Canada. Here we go. Newfoundland, Canada. Ontario, Canada. Missouri, U.S., California, U.S. Uh, looks like we're good.